This is a short video. I would like to explain, I would like to show how to capture movement when you paint trees. The beginners or the amateurs, when they paint trees, usually they paint them in a still feeling. They appear still. There won't be any movement. In nature, you will see the movement. That is the life. So when you paint trees, you have to create that movement on the canvas. Then only your landscape will appear realistic. With these simple techniques, with a simple understanding, it's easy to create that movement. I will show you how it would be. Here I am painting a There will be under tree. If you paint these two trees, usually what happens with uh, beginners, amateur students, amateur artists, they paint in a rigid way. See. The important thing is these uh, outer lines, the outer shape of the trees, they paint this way very sharp and clearly. So when you paint these edges of the trees with the sharp and clarity, you will lose that movement because something in movement you won't see that uh, subject and it's a tree or a human being or a cloud or a grass whatever it is you won't see them with that much clarity with sharpness simply you will see them a slightly diffused manner, a less clarity. So, an amateur paints, then they, what's going to happen, then they put this much shades like this. This way they paint.
they paint this way. They paint with this kind of edges. You see now, do you feel any movement uh, in these trees? Basically because the edges are very clear, they are short. So when you see the tree edges, the tree moss with that much clarity, you won't find movement, you won't feel any movement. So for that you have to change them a little bit here and there. See how I am going to paint them. Same thing, just You see now, these edges are diffused, they are not clear, they are irregular, some, some here it is this, here is gone a little bit this side, there are gaps, so they are irregular. So when you see the kind of texture, structure, when you see that kind of structure, Automatically, you feel they are in movement. They are affected by air. You feel the movement of the air. You feel the movement of the air. That's important. Because when the air moves, the trees will also move. Then those edges, those branches, and everything will move. Whatever, they are not strong and solid medium thick, medium thin, small branches, reasonably medium level branches, everything will move, the leaves will move. So, I will show you some more. You see now, now I will uh, slightly put the trunks and the little bit branches side of
You see now, you feel the movement. It is the effect of air. Later than this, if you paint carefully, if you paint clearly, you won't feel the movement. If you won't feel the movement in trees, there won't be any reality. The painting looks artificial. Look at this painting. You feel everywhere the movement. Here, 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 and everywhere you feel the movement. You feel the movement. This is horizon line. I put some small distant hill here, which will be with a little bit height. So it will stop the your side. to confine and to see this area so the viewer feels here is some water some lake he feels that one here is the foreground so this is the total picture everywhere you feel that movement everywhere because you feel that air in the painting this is the way you have to capture the movement in your paint landscape in your paint trees in your painting if you don't capture this movement the painting will look artificial it's not real so remember this you have to paint a movement rather than trees this is the key once again i am telling 
you have to paint air and movement rather than trees rather than grounds then your painting would be successful After that, I painted some sky also. Uh, rather than leaving the trees on plain background, I would like to add some color in there, some sky, some background. I painted this sky. So now it automatically, overall, the brush strokes, the color, everything will interact with each other. Everything will get balanced with each other. It will have harmony. It will have movement. It will have a visually interesting feeling. See it. I will show you in close-ups. See how this sea is just painted, the foliage, the foliage edges, the tree leaves, those edges where they meet the sky area. See how I painted them, how I softened them, how I blurred them. You see all the detail in this. <coughs> 